Joy, how does it feel to finish? I feel so good. Um, well, I, I found out I'm one of the, the only ones around the area that's finished the course, or one of. Um, so it's pretty good. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, I, I wanted to take you back down a trip down memory lane so you can remember why you first joined. Do you remember your goals or would you like me to remind you a couple of them? Well, one was did a job at the hospital. It's just much easier if I did a job around my area. Yeah. Um, and the first one, be happy with myself, is because I, a lot of people lack that, and I, I don't lack it, but I hope to keep it w within myself because I don't want to lose my happiness. Bobby and I spoke about, you know, his um, nan is has been his carer for a, quite a bit of his life and she's working at the moment, um, gone back to work. And so the transport thing is a real issue. And so having somewhere like the Laura Hospital where Bobby can walk, gives him a lot more independence too, which has, you know, been really important. So he's sort of been thinking of the future as well, of how to make it easier on Nan. And, and he's decided not to drive, to, to not have a car and a licence, which is, you know, a decision that he's made. So that sort of led to the Laura thing as well. What's an always come your way is how you decide to react to them. And so in the course, it says, don't always fake being happy. Instead of blaming others for, you, for your mistakes, it's you decide to take responsibility for your actions. I've improved in sending SARS because I used to be someone that vaguely just says thank you or someone that just does a generic option, but I actually do mean some of uh, mean some of my stars so you can actually see when people are paying attention mm. because they they comment or they'll say something that's like the last word um so it's approved my um conversation skills a lot i have a quite a few responsibilities i have to make sure the house is tidy and i have to make sure my cat's well and fed and so I try playing the day around what I need to do first. I also plan through work. I need to make sure what what days I'm working and to make sure I don't have anything on them. Um, so sign the driver, for example, I decided to leave the school leavers program in CBS and try to do more work because um, I've been through that program for three years, but it's supposed to be finished two years because of COVID. They had to send the year. And so I decided, why not do volunteer work? And so I do volunteer work at the caravan park first. Um, I worked there for about eight weeks. And so because I work there, people know me around the area. So it's going to be much easier to do a recommendation from the hospital because I've spent a couple of hours just helping the caravan park rake leaves and make scones and and just help out a bit. Um, and so if I didn't branch, branch out, I wouldn't have a job at the bakery. I, you know, in talking to Bobby, like he was always willing to you know, push into something that he wasn't totally sure of. And, you know, the hospital is definitely one of those, but even back to the step of the caravan park and the working in the bakery. So, yeah, it's really good. Um, Bobby, do you feel like you're a bit like you're leading yourself to success now? Like, do you feel like from the program, did you get some tools that you feel can increase your confidence and create a bit of clarity for what you want? Um. Yes, um, I've definitely a few 
good shells. Well, they do say science um, does say, there's re- lots of research about it. The more you reflect, the more likely you are to achieve your goals in life and to keep moving forward. So I definitely encourage you to keep always reflecting on where you're at and what you want to achieve. And then use this toolkit that you've learned to help guide you towards achieving those goals because you learned a lot. There's over 30 different tools, but just keep it back to those four big decisions and they will help guide you on your personal leadership journey. We're here today to say we're proud of you and what you've done and how, you know, they would be proud of you too. Um, And it's about now, you know, using these tools to keep moving forward. Um, And we really appreciate you reflecting and sharing your experience with us. A very well-deserved scholarship winner from NDSP.